guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be breaking down my trades for the 26th of september which was thursday and the 27th which was friday of september guys so as you know we come to the chat at seven o'clock and we look for price to print relative equal lows or relative equal highs and trade away from that so guys these when i came to the chat i saw that price pushed up pushed down these relative equal lows was printed so that price pushed down took this relative equal lows and started displacing up give me a market structure shift right here a fair value gap but price didn't come back to this this fair value gap so when I saw price started pushing up, pushing up, I saw that price was, I got FOMO and thought that price was going to leave me. So I ended up taking my, my buys right here, stops below here, 10 contracts. Then price pushed up in profit. I was in profit for a while. Then I saw price coming back down. As I saw price coming back down, I so I said to myself, price was coming back to to um, retest this fair value gap, which would have been my original entry. So when it came down here, I bought ten contracts again. So I had twenty contracts on this this thing. I was super confident in this trade because of seeing these relative equal lows got purged and then the displacement. So when price came back down, I took ten contracts again. Price pushed up again in profit and then started come back down, push up, and then when I saw price was breaking down here in momentum, I knew that my stops were going to be taken right here. So guys, that was a loss on Thursday. I think that was a loss for four hundred and something dollars. On Thursday, I didn't take any other trade on Thursday. That is something I'm trying to work on. The over trading, taking one to two trade max with a max loss of four to five hundred dollars. And for the past week, I've worked on that and I have really worked on that and it helped me a lot to minimize the amount of loss I would have taken. Plus this week the the market was a very choppy. The market was very choppy. Very, very, very choppy. So I'm proud of myself for not over over trading and pushing the bot the button each time a, a setup shows itself. So I'm very proud of myself for 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 keeping my composure and sticking to my one to two trade max for a day. So now we are going to Friday's trade, which is the twenty seventh. So as you guys know. We come into the, the market about 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and look for the, the relative equal highs or relative equal lows that were printed. So guys, from 7, I saw that the market pushing up, pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. It, we had these relative equal highs here, and I see the, price, the market went up, took that out, but it didn't print any relative equal highs or equal lows after 7 o'clock. So... My model did not show itself, so I didn't press the button. So I, I showed patience on a Friday. So from 7 o'clock, I saw that price kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and not my model not pre presenting itself and pushing and pushing and pushing. My model did not present itself until about 8 o'clock. That was about 8.45. This is when the model showed itself. It printed this relative equal highs right here. This one right here. This one right here. Then price traded down a bit and then pushed up. Took this relative equal highs and then displaced down. That was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful show of my model. I saw that price displaced down, leaving fair value gaps here. This was a fair value gap. This is the, 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 the market structure shift. But price was, was choppy, very choppy on Friday. 
very very choppy and price fall a lot on friday but i was able to keep my composure and left my stop here even when i saw that price so i took my entry here guys on this inverted fair valley gap when price closed below because i knew that was my model and i saw that this i saw displacement after i took these relative equal highs and i saw that price displaced down so when price came up back close here with more with momentum and price sorry then price came back up into this inverted fair valley gap i took my entry here it contracts stops was somewhere around, around here stop was between these candles here in the between these two weeks but then after i put it above these highs so after that price pushed down in my favor and then price started stalling and going higher and going higher guys i thought it was going to take my stop it came very close to my stop i didn't close all the trade and i didn't have any form i said if it hit my stop it hit my stop but i'm leaving my my stop right here so but that was just a time distortion price pushing up and pushing up and going sideways for a while so right here around right here price broke down gave an next fair value gap i didn't take an next entry all this time i was in drawdown from nine o'clock all the way to 9.25 so almost half an hour i was in drawdown guys and then from 9.30 at market open price pushed down with with momentum and then came back fill this fair valley gap and then when i saw price came down to this that was market open for the 27th market open that was the not sorry not market open but this was the new day opening gap for the 27th when price came down here around that area there i took partials i took out yeah i had eight contracts up here took eight contracts and i took out six here because guys price was very choppy and after staying in in jordan for all this time i wanted to at least take care of something but my original my original plan was to secure something right here at this relative equal lows the price was dropping around so much that i took some partial here and then i put stops that break even and i think rise reverse about here and took me out at break even as i as after i put my stops to break even somewhere around here but if i had hold this straight guys i just kept my composure and hold this straight held this straight i would have at least closed two partials right here when price came down to to take this relative equal lows that was created here i took partial at one to let's say one to four i would have gotten a nice trade and i would have after here i would have put my stops to break even here and my stops would have been protected because as you can see when price took all these lows it never went up back to my entry up here and my final my final tp was done at these relative equal lows that price has had printed on first day this relative equal lows was my final tp and as you guys see price did trade to this relative equal lows so guys as i'm going to show you the update on the account guys i'm up i'm still up 464 dollars on the on the account on my 50k but this week didn't go how i wanted it to go i was negative in the week for the week and minus 660 dollars and 64 cents for the week guys after having a beautiful week last week with only one loss for the week which, which was on monday and a net profit of 1125 dollars on monday i'm down for the week not on the account for the week i am down 660 yep i am down 660 for the week guys so this week is nfp week i'm trying to i'm going to try to the quality trade on the account 
for this week because this week is quality is, is NFE week. I'm expecting chop. I'm expecting a lot of manipulation for this week. So I'm going to try my best to take quality trade from this for this week. And if I, I have enough profit, if I have a good amount of profit, will not be trading for Thursday and Friday. So thanks for viewing guys. Make sure you drop a like on this video. Comment. Peace out.